uh, series of Before You Tie the Knot. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Shall we bow our heads for opening prayer? Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless your mighty and holy name for the opportunity to be alive again this year. We thank you, Lord, because you saw through last year, 2022. We thank you because of the Before You Tied In Us series that we did last year. Father, we return the glory to you, accept our praise, accept our gratitude in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, King of Glory, as we are starting the Before You Tied In Us series for this year, 2023, we pray you be the Alpha and you also be the Omega in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, King of Glory, as we want to start the one for today, we pray that, Lord, you will take preeminence. We pray that, Lord, your presence will come down like we have never seen it before. And we pray that today's program shall be a blessing. And everyone that has come to join this program, we pray they will never go back the same. We thank you, Lord, for even your daughter. Father, you serve mightily today in the name of Jesus. We pray that, Lord, everyone that we are still expecting as participant tonight, Father, quicken their steps in the name of Jesus. And at the end of everything today, we want to have cause to say a big thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to your holy name. <clears throat> in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. We are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, if you can unmute. Let's say happy new year to each other. Happy new year. Happy new, happy new year, year, man. Happy new year, man. God bless happy you. Happy new year. year. Com compliments happy new year. Happy, new year. happy new year, everyone. Yes, compliments of the season. Nice to see everyone again and again. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. You're welcome. I can't be mentioning names now. I can see many people joining. But I want to thank you very much for joining us again. Thanks to all our regular attendees. Thank you for the, the new face, the new names I'm seeing. And um, I know God is set to do us good this year. One more time. Thank you and welcome. And um, of course, I will not forget to mention, to welcome those that are joining us on Facebook and um, on um, YouTube. Again, people can join on the Holy Way TV. That's on YouTube. And then... Um, uh, only way, uh, Facebook as well. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. And um, thanks to Daddy for that um, wonderful opening prayer. God bless you, sir, in the name of Jesus. So, yes, um, I want, I believe that God really did us good last year and He said to do us good again. Um, this program is fast becoming a family program, you know. All right. Although the purpose, you know, for the program, you know, was to, we started the program for young adults that are intending to get married. And of course, even we that have been married for years, we, we've been blessed. We have learned so much, you know, um, of, uh, from, from the Lord. Um, as we consider issues, you know, that um, uh, relate to marriage, you know, before you say I do, what are the things that you need to know? And even after you have said it, what are the things? Knowledge is power. You know, every day there is always something new to learn. Even the society keeps changing, you know, and we have new ideas evolving every day. So you can't be without the need to learn, you know, to learn and to learn and to continue to learn. We are all welcome in Jesus' name. Um, we want to thank God. We want to thank God for um, a new year. We want to thank God for 2023. 2022 was beautiful. It was glorious. And 2023 is set to be a better year for us, our year of greater heights. And we can't but thank God again. I just want you to take a moment. I mean, just to say thank you, Lord. 
Just thank God. We can't thank him enough. You know, not, just thank God. Say, Father, I thank you for the gift of life, you know, for the grace, the opportunities, your, your, your presence, your mercies that are new upon us every day, every morning. And um, we, 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 we are grateful. We are grateful. We will never be ungrateful to you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. Amen. So tonight, um, if you have any question, please put in the chat box and um, uh, we would attend to questions at the end of the program. Um, tonight, it's just going to be uh, the normal, normal session. We are not going into breakout rooms. So we're just going to just want to start the year on a beautiful note. So tonight, we want to look at habits to develop before you tie the knot, um, according to the, what we have on the flyer. Initially, I was going to share two, but when I started developing the first one, I discovered that, no, let's take one after the other. So we're only looking at just one tonight. And um, before I go into what that habit is, I want to you know, ask, what is, a, what is a habit? A habit is you know, a regular practice that has become part of one something that you have done over and over again, you know, and has now become a part of you. You know, what makes it regular is the repeated, you know, the repetition, the over and over and over again that you do something, then it becomes an habit. You know, it, it can be a usual pattern of behavior that you are used to, something that is hard to give up, something that has been developed over time. You know, but habits can change good or bad. You can change from good to bad. You can change from bad to good. So it can be developed. You can, you can, it's, it's not that, oh, once this habit is there, it can, it can change. But tonight, the habit, um, it's a positive one we are talking about tonight, you know. So uh, what are examples of habits, you know? Uh, as usual, if you can put answers in the chat box, uh, that would be good. I just want to be sure that people are following, uh, following us. What, what are examples of habits? Do we have? Can we have responses? Responses. What are habits? What are examples of habits? Let me see. Okay, sleeping too much. All right. Thank you. That can be an habit. Not too good, uh, not too good a habit anyway. Yes. What else can I have? Um, what are habits? Examples of habits: wasteful spending. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, that's a habit. Not too good. Habits. Are we together? Okay. Cleaning up on Saturdays. Thank you, Isaac. Yeah. It's regular, you're used to it. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good habit. Mm. Clean up, yeah. Praying, yes, thank you, thank you. Praying, yes. Rudeness, they are, these are habits that we develop over, over time. You know, nobody is, was born with praying always. We develop it, you know. So these are um, habits that um, we have. So tonight, what is this habit that we want to? consider. Thank you very much. Thank you for the responses. I'm happy um, we are together here. What is this, this habit that we want to consider tonight? And I, I, like I said, I was going to share two, but I'm only looking at one, and that is gratitude. Gratitude. That word has been, you know, coming up since the beginning of the year from different quarters. We've been hearing gratitude, 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 you know, Gratitude, it can be developed, you know. So what is gratitude? Um, again, please, I want responses. Synonyms of gratitude. What does it mean to be grateful? As we look at what, it, what has that got to do with marital relationships? Yes, that's being thankful, being thankful. Has it has so much to do with you know our relationships? Yes. What else is gratitude? Just one word. 
appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sister Ireta. Appreciation. That's gratitude. Gratitude. We can be grateful to God, grateful to the people around us, grateful to, you know, your spouse or your spouse to be or your friends of course in this context we are talking about marriage you know thankfulness thank you Roy Chibuzo. thankfulness that's uh gratitude that's gratitude there is a quality of being thankful it's a readiness to show appreciation you know showing appreciation expression of honor yes thank you Thank you, Shagun. God bless you. You know, like I said, it's an, it's, a, it's, a, it's an attitude. Gratitude is an attitude. It's an attitude that you can develop. You can develop, you know, whereby you focus on what is good, what is working well. You can be grateful to God. You can be grateful to God. You can be grateful to people around you, your spouse. You know, it's a deliberate action. It's a conscious effort. So it's not something that you just pick up along the way. You, you deliberately develop that uh, uh, um, virtue of being grateful. I said, it's seeing the cup half full rather than seeing the cup half empty. Seeing the cup half full rather than seeing the cup half empty. You know, let's look at First Thessalonians 5.18. Let me just quickly read. First Thessalonians 5.18. Um, the word of God is life. So it says, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. As a young person that's, you know, trusting God to get married or you're in a relationship already, this is a good, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a good habit that if you develop and get yourself rooted in this habit, it will be a blessing to your life. Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, in everything give thanks. For what? This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything, good or bad. When things are going well, when things are not going well, what are you doing? You are giving thanks. You are giving thanks. It's an approach that you can give to life, a mindset, an, you know, an, a, a, an outlook that you can give to life. It can serve as a motivator as well. Being grateful, being grateful. I believe gratitude and optimism are brothers. Because when you are grateful, you will be hopeful that tomorrow will be great, will be good. When you are grateful, you see the positive side of life. Breaking it down to relationships now. By the time you now get into a relationship with someone or you are already married to the person and you already have that attitude of being thankful all the time, of being grateful, of, of seeing the good side of things, because in every situation, you can either see the positive, approach it from the positive side or approach it from the negative side, which is the truth. Even if something bad happens and you come in and you are told this has happened, it could have been worse. And so you thank God. When you look at it, you think about it and say, Father, I'm thankful because this could have been a worse situation. It, can, it, can, it, could, have been, it could have been worse. Oh, I got a C in my exam. What if you had failed? when I was expecting A. So you discover that it's, you know, it's, it, 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 it can, it's, a, it's an approach, a positive approach that we give to life, and which, is, which helps in building good relationships, you know? So how does this affect marriage? How does this affect marriage? I want us to think about it. When we're talking about gratitude, we are talking about us, you know, of course, not gratitude to your chair or to your table, to people, especially the person you are married to or you are intending you know, to marry. 
Yes, gratitude can become a magnet attracting and binding you to each other. Because you are always coming with the heart of gratitude. You are always coming into that relationship with that, you know, thankful attitude, grateful attitude. You are, you know, interacting with that. Yes, thank you, Isaac. It opens you up to seeing the good parts of your partner. Thank you. You're not seeing, oh, well, look at the way he's walking. Look at the she's walking. Look at the way he talks. Look at the way he eats. Look at the... You're not seeing it like that. You are even thanking God that he has legs to walk. So it can become a magnet attracting and binding you to each other, to God, to people. You know, gratitude is capable of doing that. It helps to build good relationships. You will hardly keep records of wrong if you are always grateful. Oh, he made this thing too salty. Oh, he made that food too whatever. You have one complaint or the other. What if she was not even available to make the food? Oh, he gave me five pounds or 50 naira. What if he didn't have, he didn't have money to do me? What would you do? So it's always, you know, when you are grateful, you would hardly keep records of wrong. It would be difficult not to forgive when you are always thankful. So the year is starting. The, the, we thank God, of course, like I've always said, there's no difference between 31st of December and the 1st of January. The day would break, you know. We would have sunrise, we'll have sunset. And come first, it, we would have sunrise and first sunset. But then God has given us the time. God has given us the grace to be able to measure our lives, you know, in times and seasons. And so we, when we have a beginning of the new year like this, it's an opportunity for me to, you know, say, okay, let, let, let me start in a, on a fresh note. Let, let's pick up again. So I don't know where you are, in your relationships, you can pick up again. You can say, oh, this new year, I'm going to do more of thanking God than complaining. I'm going to do more of thanking God than, you know, seeing things from the negative aspects. Praise the Lord. So the, this new, beginning of this year is the best time for us to, you know, begin to invite this attitude. So it is best for it to be an attitude, you know, for both partners but then if you have a partner that is not um, appreciating you or is not grateful or is not you know exhibiting all this that we've been talking for it doesn't stop you from being grateful i i, I like the song of um Ricky and Kathy Wiso. I don't know if we've heard that song before it says a thankful heart creates a thankful home i love that song you can Google it. A thankful heart. A thankful heart creates a thankful home, filled with love and understanding, so that grace can abound. Very beautiful song. A thankful heart. Two thankful hearts come together would create a thankful home. It's gratitude. Gratitude. Let me let 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 um let me read Philippians four seven. Philippians chapter four, verse seven. It says, and the peace, yeah, sorry, it's verse, I mean, verse six. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Even unto God, with prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving. Even what, if what you are praying about is something that is a body that brings tears, that brings, you know, to your, to your eyes. The Bible says, present them with what? With thanksgiving. So gratitude is that enabling environment you create for God to move in your matter, in your case, to move in your relationship, to move in your marriage. So if something is not going well, 
maybe you need to sit back and just begin to thank God. Can somebody say, I thank God? Can somebody unmute and say, Lord, I'm grateful. 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 Yes, Lord, we are grateful. Gratitude, very, very important. When you are grateful to God for the life of the person you are planning to marry or you are married to, even you discover that your relationship will improve. It's a, as an enabling environment you create for God to move in your relationship, to move in your home, to move in your marriage. It's a good environment for children even to be brought up in the way of the Lord. Because I've discovered that by God's grace, we are still going to do more of series, you know, uh, on raising children. A child, a, a, the, the, a child can never take after your neighbors, your family, the family living next to you. Except if that child lives in that in that um, house. As long as a child is raised in you know in the environment where that child is being raised, that is the 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 kind of life or character that that child will take pick up. So you now imagine a child being raised in a thankful home, always seeing that gratitude displayed, expressed all the time. The child will grow up to become a thankful child as well. If a child is 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 raised in an atmosphere where we have um, people saying negative words, cursing, that child would grow up to be like that. When we started raising our children, we never use negative words. I'm not sure they are, they, they, if they know these words, they probably heard from outside, but I, I don't hear it, they don't speak it because they've never heard us, you know, say things like that. You know, all the negative words, you bastard, you are, your head is this, you are, you, are, you are stupid. No, 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 no. We never. And they are not used to it. Even when they are, when, when they are cross with each other, even they, when they are not happy and they are trying to settle issues, they don't settle issues abusing themselves because it's something that we have never we were never we never exposed them to. So where would they pick it from? So you discover that that environment where you whatever environment you create is where you know the children will grow. So we're not talking about children tonight. We're talking about gratitude, you know, praise the Lord. So gratitude is very, very, you know, is, 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 is something that I think at the beginning of the year, we can, you know, let's pick up, let's pick it up. It thrives on the will, you know, grace. Yes, grace. Grace thrives on the will of gratitude. Grace will abound in an atmosphere of gratitude. Grace to love each other the more, grace to forgive each other, grace to care for each other because of that, you know, enabling uh, environment. That's 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 the that spirit of gratitude in the atmosphere. I'm not only talking about being grateful to God now. I'm talking about being grateful to each other, to yourself, to 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 your spouse, thanking God on their behalf thanking God for them, and even appreciating them. Praise the Lord. When we are grateful, the walls of pride will be broken down. Pride will not thrive as well. Gratitude. You know, I pray that God will give us understanding in Jesus' name. You know, another thing, Another point is that a grateful heart is a contented heart. Lack of contentment can't be found where there is gratitude. Because you are even grateful for what you have. 
You know, the Bible makes us to understand that it is what God gives that we gather. So whatever he releases, you are grateful. If he decides to release a thousand pounds or a thousand naira, what if he decides to give you hundred? What will you do? So you are happy, you are contented. You are contented with the man or the woman you have that you want to marry or God is leading you to marry, whether it's short, whether it's tall, whether it's black, you know, you are contented with your financial situation because already you're even thanking God. If the work you are doing is not fetching, is not bringing in as much, you are first of all thankful that you have the job. Some people have jobs, but they can't do it due to sicknesses. Some don't have jobs, you know? So we, that's why I said, when you approach, the way you approach things will determine the, the kind of, you know, um, the, 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 your, the, the heart that you, with which you would thank God. So there's contentment where there is gratitude because you are not comparing yourselves with each other. Why are trusting God to move on to higher heights? Oh, let's always remind ourselves. Remind your partner all the time. When there seem to be grumbling about to, you know, the spirit of grumbling creeping into your relationship, begin to, you know, help each other to identify ways and areas with which, by which, you know, you can begin to appreciate the Lord. Depression cannot thrive in an atmosphere of gratitude. It cannot. Because where there is gratitude, there is joy. So you can see all the, you know, this advan the advantages. You can see the way that gratitude can help our relationship. Relationship with your, with your spouse. I pray that God will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. How do we show this gratitude? Mm -hmm. Express it. Not in your heart. Don't, don't say, I thank God in my heart. I, I, I know that I'm grateful in my heart. No, 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 no. Express it both to God and to your spouse. Say, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Let that word. We are all learning. I'm not a, a champion in this thing that I'm talking about. We are all learning. Thanking God all the time. Learn to express yourself. Learn to say it. You know, it's very, very important. And then when you know the love language of your spouse, I wouldn't know what he or she likes. When you use, you know, it can be a tool for you to show gratitude. If your spouse likes to, you know, likes gifts. Some people don't like gifts. Some women would rather you make yourself available rather than your gift, making your, rather than making your gift available. You know, when you, you know, ride on that, on the wheel of uh, your spouses or your, you know, the person, your partner's love language, you, you ride on that wheel to show gratitude. Let's, you know, by, by, by identifying and by using that too, it shows appreciation. We know that our God will not eat beans, will not eat burger. What does our God take from us? It is praise. We praise him. That's our show of gratitude. We present to God what he wants. He won't ask you to bring under naira. No, no, no. It's, he would ask you to praise him. That's, 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 the, you know. So when you know the love language of your spouse or your spouse to be, you use it as your own tool to show gratitude. So if it is touch, touch. Of course, you know, if you are not married, I would, I would, let me, let me, <laughs> let me add that. Be careful. Be careful. So, if it's to buy gift, please buy gift, whatever, just express yourself. It helps our relationship, it helps relationships. And then you keep repeating the act, keep repeat it 
until it becomes part of you. For some of us, maybe our upbringing is such that you're not used to somebody appreciating you. You can develop it. We said it at the beginning. You can. If you are not used to, you know, being appreciated, develop and help your spouse as well. By the time you, are, you repeat a particular act, act, um, action over and over and over, it becomes part of you. you know, I pray that God will give us understanding in Jesus' name. So what are you grateful for? If you are given a minute, what would you be grateful for? And I want us to help ourselves because maybe sometimes some of us find it difficult. What, 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 what should I be grateful for? Why should I be grateful? What for? Now, let's take it now. Let's bring it closer to the context. Uh, our context. What do you think you can be grateful for? What should you be grateful for in the life of your partner? Either your wife, your husband, or your spouse, or your spouse to be, or you are even waiting on the Lord. So you are preparing yourself so that when he or she comes around, these are the things that will watch out for. So uh, just to be sure that we are still together. Can we put things, what should we be grateful for in the life of our partner, in the life of our spouses to be? Let's, let's, let's roll into the chat, uh, chat box and put, what should you be grateful for? If you have given 60 seconds, right? What should you be, what do you want to, what, 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 what are you grateful for? Yeah, let's put, um, let's respond into the, in the chat box, please. What are you grateful for in the life of the person you want to marry or that you are married to? What are you grateful for? I'm waiting. Are we together? What are we grateful for, brethren? What should we be grateful for? Okay, thank you. Grateful for her personality, right? You know that there are some of these things when you continue, when you continue the journey of marriage that you may not see it there. Take for instance, okay, her salvation. I'm grateful for God bringing her into my life. Yes, I'm grateful for good health. Thank you. Grateful for her soul saved. Okay. Yes. Like I was going to say, maybe you married somebody that is size eight. And after the first two, three kids, now she's struggling to enter size 16. <laughs> Should, would you still be grateful? I want a, I want a very honest answer. <laughs> Who is God? I beg you. <laughs> no worries. Just keep yourself in size eight. Too. Make sure you remain size eight. Okay. So grateful for her soul saved. Yes. Grateful for God's grace. Yes. Would you still be grateful? Because these are some of the things that can make uh, the, our relationship to be a bit uh, one kind. When you say, oh, this is not the person I got married to. She used to be this, she used to be that. Oh, he used to be. Or maybe as a man, you were always there. You would buy this, you would buy that, you know. But for, you know, some reasons, maybe pressure or this or that, some of these things we just do do a little. Should we still be grateful? You know, we should still be grateful. So, and let's take it a step further. Would you be grateful even for those nasty habits? Okay, yes, ma'am. I will still be grateful because I'm aware before the change. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. It's thinking back. Okay, what about those nasty habits? Are you grateful for them? 
because we are, you know, we are not angels. That even somebody, would you still be grateful for the for the for the bad habits in court? I mean, uh, I know that nobody is perfect, but would you still be grateful for that thing that you have always said stop doing, stop doing, and it's not, it's nothing seems to be changing. Maybe God wants you to start giving thanks and then the thing will change. In fact, when you start giving thanks or when you just thank God, you even your own attitude or your response to correcting him or her to the way you handle things will change. You see how gratitude works. It, 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 it erases all forms of negativity. Negative emotions, anger, wrath, would be raised, joy and happiness would thrive. Because there, it's not possible for joy, happiness, anger, wrath to dwell together. You see that? No, joy. They all can't reside. Joy and happiness cannot reside in the house where there is ingratitude. You know? So is, they are like spirits. Let me put it that way. Good or bad, they are like spirits. So they reside in darkness and light can never be together. Is it that darkness or light? So you can create that atmosphere in your home where the spirit of joy and gratitude, you know, lives. I pray that God will give us understanding in the name of Jesus. What are you grateful for? So when we're talking about something that we need to develop before we go into relationships, if you are, if you, if you look in well, because you will know yourself better. If you look at yourself and feel that, oh, this area, I can, I can work on it. Begin to work on it before you get into a relationship. Even if you're in a relationship already, begin to work on it and begin to appreciate that side, that aspect of the person's life. Good or bad? Good or bad? Praise the Lord. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. It's the beginning of the year. And then by God's grace, I know this year is going to be beautiful for everyone in the name of Jesus. But we are starting the year on that note of gratitude. On that note of gratitude. And I'm going to be rounding up now because I just want us to, you know, say a few prayers. I would want us to, I would want us to say, you know, let's just thank God. Let's thank God. And when we finish thanking God, and you now, we are, when we are done here, make sure you express gratitude to your wife, to your husband, to your spouse, uh, partner. If he or she's not here, send a text, send a um, message, you know, just thank God. Be thankful. Very important. Let's be thankful. Let's be thankful. And they will see wonders happen. See the way things will turn around for our good. Praise the Lord. God will help us in Jesus' name. Do you have any um, questions? Do we have any question? I'm going to be asking three or four of us to pray. Uh, yes, thank you for here. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I hope you can you'll be able to talk wherever you are. Um, great, Sister Bola, you're welcome. Yes, you'll be the first to give us, to thank God for us. We just want to appreciate the Lord. Sister Bumi, you know, text 30 seconds. Let's just thank God. You know, after Sister Bola, then Sister Bumi, I hope you can unmute and then thank God. Isaac, you would follow suit. And then I think we have, I can see uh, Pastor Debo Winton. I think, yes. So let's just thank God. Um, Pastor DeGorita will finish up for us. Um, Sister Bola, over to you. 30 seconds. 
it's a time to show our gratitude to God. I hope you can unmute. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm muted. I hope people are able to unmute themselves. Okay. All right. Um, maybe Tabumi, are you are you able to unmute? Just want to thank God. He's he's been so good to us. I mean, God has been. So good. People can unmute. Oh, me. Oh, nice seeing you. Are you able to unmute? Oh, nice seeing your name because I can't see you. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. Just take us to God's true room in 30 seconds. You mean me? Yes, just help us to thank God. Okay. Um, Father Lord, we give you thanks today. We worship and adore your holy name because you're God. We thank you for all that we have learned today. We thank you for giving us the grace to be alive to see this very moment. We worship you. It's not by power or by might. Lord, it's just by your grace and mercy. We adore you, Lord, because you're God, because you're the King of Kings, because you're the one who knows the beginning and the end. Lord, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Lily of the Valley. You are the one who opens a door and no man can shut. You are the one who shuts a door that no man can open. We say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we say thank you for what we have learned today, what we have heard today. We pray, Lord Almighty, that your word and your exhortation will continue to germinate in our hearts in Jesus' name. And Father, Amen. Almighty, we pray, decree, and declare because it is, it, it is very easy sometimes for us to deviate from, from the word of God as we have learned today. But we pray that the Lord Almighty will continue to give us that grace to stay in tune with him. God, we continue to empower us, strengthen us to be more grateful, to be more thankful unto him. We also pray that the Almighty God, we do that only which he can do in our lives in Jesus' name. And we pray that Lord Almighty God will give us more reasons to be thankful and to be grateful. Because it says a grateful heart is a thankful heart. And regardless of any challenge we are facing, regardless of any situation that we are facing, we pray that we will continue to have the grace to, to be thankful to God. And, and we all know in the word of God, the Lord said, trials will come, tribulations will come, challenges will come unpleasant situations will arise. But in all of this, I pray and decree that Lord will continue to enable us to stay grateful and to stay thankful. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Isaac. Hello, Hello everyone. Hello, Isaac, we can, can't hear you. Uh, hello, ma. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Right, so um, Lord, we give you glory for um today. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Your word says the entrance of your word, give it light and understanding to the simple. Thank you, Lord, because of your word as comfort unto us this evening. We are grateful for it, Lord. And God, we pray, we pray for strength, Lord. We pray for strength to hold on to this. We pray for Lord, to do this word, Lord, that God will help us, Lord, to be grateful. You will help us, Lord, to be grateful and thankful, Lord, first off, to you. Acknowledging all that you've done for us, acknowledging all that you've achieved for us on the cross of Calvary. And God, we pray for grace and strength, Lord, to overlook 
each other's faults, with those that when we're in relationships with, to overlook each other's faults, and to be grateful, to be grateful for the gift of the person that you've given unto us in the name of Jesus. And God, we pray, Lord, that God, we fill our hearts, Lord, with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. In every situation, in every circumstances that we find ourselves, Lord, that God, you strengthen us, Lord, to give thanks unto you, to give thanks unto you. And give you glory, Lord, for answered prayers, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And Pastor Dego, itself, please. Um, you are muted. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, everlasting Father, your word in Psalm 92 says, it is a good thing to give thanks unto you and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. We acknowledge this, and that is why we know that every day of our lives, it is to worship and to thank you, even for us to be created in your own image. Father, we glorify your name. Be thou be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because of your loving kindness. Because okay. when we were yet, while we were yet sinners, you died, you sent your son to die for us. You took us even from the Mary clay to bring us even to the to the joy of salvation. We thank you because of this love that you have shown unto us. Baba, be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you. Because we are alive in you. We thank you because even if the fig tree is, is not blossoming, no, the rains are falling. We trust you because our help is in you. We thank you because you are our protector. Because your word is yea and amen. Because even when our Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated it to us, when the 10 lepers were healed and only one came back, he asked, that, was it not 10 that were healed? And that is the, to show us the essence and the importance you hold on to thanksgiving. Because for whom that, that has been done, must return to say thank you and to show gratitude. We thank you because of all these things that you are using to bring us to appreciate you, to even appreciate ourselves, even for us to love ourselves the more. Each end of this be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for bringing us to 2023. We thank you for years past. We thank you for those ones that are still coming. We thank you even for the uh, for the, the organizer of this uh, before the north is tied, because the world is imparting into so many lives. We thank you for this great grace and for this opportunity to enjoy at this time, but be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for all the programs that have been of impact that have been coming, even from the, uh, from this family, from the Ajayi family. The agent of this be glorified in Jesus' name. We thank you for our parents. We thank you for our siblings. We thank you for our church. We thank you for even our brethren. Even today, as we gather together, it is in it is in, it, 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 it is in love of you. Agent of this be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you for the words that we have learned. How they have changed our life, even to appreciate ourselves the more. Especially most of us that are married, that are even overlooking some of those little things our spouses have done that we just took it for that is part of their responsibilities ancient of days for this that we have learned make us to uh, to use them to impart uh, to bring more love into our homes and to make us to have better christian home in jesus name Amen. and for those that are still true thank Is muted, sir. You are muted, sir. You are muted, sir. Oh, I think it's. It could be the network. I think it's the network. I think it's In Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. I think a call came and you just. Uh, oh, man. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone that has prayed. The Lord will answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. So we have shown that. Amen. Please think of that, those things that you should be grateful for in the life of your partner and go and do likewise. Go and show that. 
you know, it helps relationships. It helps. It really does. You know, rather than sleep and just be ruminating on those negative things, please sleep, ruminate on the positives, and you will see, you know, the way things will turn around for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you very Amen. much. Thank you. Thanks to those that have joined on Facebook and YouTube as well. God bless everyone in the name of Jesus. By God's Amen. grace, February, we we are going to be having uh, our usual guests. And by the special grace of God, um, we will be looking uh, deeply now into, you know, some of these languages, love languages that uh, some of us will probably, you know, we're not, maybe we didn't know, we're not used to it, but we discover that it's working wonders in relationships and which would help us if we are able to, uh, if we can understand these languages better. Uh, I'm trusting God that he would um, give us the right of people that would help us in these areas, and especially people that, you know, with experiences, they can share from their experiences and then we can learn and make better and be better Christians, better builders, home builders, better, you know, parents, better, you know, Christians in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. I appreciate everyone. I pray that our homes will be blessed in Jesus' name. As many that are trusting God to get married this year, God would answer our, your prayers in the name of Jesus. We thank God Amen. for the marriages that we had last year. And I know that the testimonies will continue this year in the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you very much. God bless everyone. Let's just share the grace together in fellowship. Um, we can unmute ourselves as we share the grace together in fellowship. The grace, the Christ, the love of God, Father, fellowship of the Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Jesus, goodness and mercy, Father, and all the Amen. Thank you. 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 Thank you.